I'm going to do an install of ETO on a basic uh, Windows XP 32-bit operating system. Um, it's a pretty basic install. There's a couple of things that can trip you up along the way though, so we'll just cover that. Uh, first things first, I have uh, a virgin install of CFS3 uh, in my main game directory. Uh, there's no add-ons or anything there, just a stock install. Uh, and I have ETO here that I downloaded from the internet. Uh, so we're going to run ETO 1.0 first. So I'll double click on this and we'll choose run. Now this is going to take a minute or two to uh, extract the file so we'll just wait for that to happen. All right, so we're at the first screen here, and I'm just going to click Next. You can read this if you want, it's just basic in, uh, information. I'll click Next, Agree to the Agreement. And here's our install path, we're going to leave that as is. And I will click Start. So it'll sit here for a second or two at 50% and then proceed on. All right, so here we are at our next prompt. We'll click Next, Default Installation Path, and Start. And it's asking us if we want to do a Make Directory, and we want to do that, so we'll click Yes, and then press any key to continue. So we have a prompt here, and we're going to do the A for all. Okay, so that part of the install is done, and we'll just exit and we want to click yes to the next part of the installation and we'll just follow the prompts here next and you can see the path has been updated now because the make directory has created the CFS3 ETO expansion folder that's where we want to install the game so we'll click next and start now this part of the process is going to take a few minutes so uh, I'll let that happen and we'll uh, touch base in a sec Okay, so that part of the install is complete. I'm going to click Exit. And this is the first stumbling block that usually gets people uh, when they're doing an E2 install. It's prompting us to, to do the multi-installer here, and we need to back this out. And we have to type in CFS3 ETO, all uppercase, expansion. CFS3 ETO expansion with a capital E. Uh, lots of times people just click accept and they don't change this and then the game ends up being messed up so we have to do this we'll click accept and OK and we're done okay so we're ready to run ETO for the first time uh, we have our ETO st start icon here I'm gonna double click on that and this is our era selection screen uh, you have options 1 through 5 seeing that this is a brand new install of uh, ETO um, it's important to run era 1 first um, I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then we'll just spawn in and do a quick combat and then leave the game. Okay, so it looked like era 1 worked okay. Now I'm going to spawn again, but I'm going to spawn into era 2 and just make sure that the uh, game's functioning properly.
So I fired up error 2. Uh, it looks like everything's okay. You'll notice that for each error there's different splash screens. An indication that there's an issue with the install is if you, for example, fire up error 2 and you see an error 1 splash screen, it means there's something corrupt in the install and you're going to have to seek some support on that to fix it. Um, there, are, there are ways to, of fixing that. You can look at the documentation that's within the main game folder for ETO or certainly pop into Sim Outhouse and post some questions there. Uh, lots of folks there will help you out with that. But in this case here, the game seems to be running fine. And I hope you found this useful and uh, good luck. Thanks.